This is an exclusive story coming from Sahara Reporters and it's reporting that Adiolu Adeboye, the son of redeemed Christian Church of God's general overseer, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, received over 8 billion naira from Kaduna State Government for a contract but he abandoned the project after 30% completion. It means that our own Reverend Papa Adeboye, who is telling us that Nigeria's problem is spiritual, who is telling us that Tinibu is not the problem of this country, who is asking us to go and pray to God. His own son is a government contractor and he received an 8 billion naira project from the Kaduna State Government. But after doing 30% of it, he abandoned the project and ran away with the remaining money. This deal was secured by Adiole and his wife, who secured a contract to Ronches Global Resources PSC during former Governor Nasi Erufai's administration. They've been evading accountability for the diverted funds and unfinished projects. Remember, Kaduna State Government is investigating Nasi Erufai's administration, so they probe into the project and the cleric son, that means Adeboye's son, filed a suit in court at the Federal High Court in Lagos. Adeboye's son had a problem with the government. He did not go to God to pray because he knew that he did something that was wrong, but rather he ran to court to seek an injunction restraining the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, Kaduna State Government, and the House of Assembly in Kaduna State from arresting or detaining him over the abandoned 17.26 billion projects. What Sahara Reporters is saying is that the project is worth 17.26 billion naira, but he has received 8 billion naira for that project already and he abandoned it and ran away with the money. Sahara Reporters is equally reporting that the project is an 8 kilometer road in Zara and 8 billion has been paid for that project already. The period of contract is 18 months and the expected completion date was January 2, 2021. In order to stop the government of Kaduna State and the ESC from probing and arresting him, Pa Adeboye's son ran to court to seek an interim order restraining the first, second, third and fourth respondent, whether by themselves, their servant, officers or agent, from taking any further steps in compelling him, either by arrest or detention, to attend the scheduled meeting of 8 July 2024 or any other meeting or meeting subsequently convened by the government of Kaduna State. And guess what? The court granted his prayer. This is a story by Sahara Reporters. Now, I am not surprised and I'm sure you are equally not surprised. The level of corruption and rascality being run in Nigeria is brazen. It takes people with corrupt mindsets to support this system of government in Nigeria. I've always maintained that the corruption in Nigeria is not ending anytime soon because the people at the helm of affairs, people with louder voices, people who believe they are privileged to occupy economic position in this country, they are supporting this structure of criminality in Nigeria. Do you know why they are supporting this structure of criminality? Because it favors them. This structure of criminality in Nigeria is what has made them to be like demigod. If Nigeria is a working society and is working for everyone, the wealth of this country will be distributed evenly to everyone. Whatever you are doing, you will be able to assess the wealth of this country. I'm not saying that it's going to eradicate poverty, but the level of poverty we have in this country will drastically reduce and the level of wealth in this country will increase. This means that Nigerians who are citizens of this country, we have one form of wealth or the other. The wealth of this country will not be concentrated in the hands of few who have made themselves demigod. The reason why most of them are supporting the structure of criminality in this country to continue is that if that structure of criminality is dismantled, the wealth of this country will spread evenly to the hands of the people, even to those in the villages, and their status quo will be destroyed. That is the reason why they will not support this country to move forward. And the most unfortunate aspect of it is that people who call themselves religious leaders, they are in bed with politicians to keep this country perpetually stagnated, to keep this country not to move forward, to keep this country underdeveloped because they know that a developed Nigeria will make an end to their business. Just recently, the general overseer of Redeemed Christian Church of God 
He's asking Nigerians to pray to God to solve the problem in this country. He's telling Nigerians that the politicians, they are doing their best to ensure they fix the problem in this country. That the reason why our problem is not going away is because it is spiritual. And we should tackle it spiritually. Our own Reverend Papa Adeboye went to Kaduna State and told them that Erofai is a kind-hearted man. He told them that Erofai is doing his best for Kaduna State. But after Erofai left office, it was uncovered that he embezzled money. And today, the Kaduna State House of Assembly and the EFCC, they are still investigating him. Imagine your reverend religious leader supporting a governor that embezzled the state resources. the years, Nigerians have become apprehensive about Redeemed Christian Church of God. They've been labeling them with all sorts of names, saying that the Redeemed Christian Church of God is a political wing of the APC. They are supporting bad government. They are not doing their most to ensure that this country is fixed. They are silent over the man administration of APC whom they helped to bring to power. We all saw how they were outspoken during Gulok Ebele Jonathan regime. A campaign against Gulok Ebele Jonathan asked Nigerians to vote out Gulok Ebele Jonathan. But when it came to APC, they are asking us to pray for God to intervene in the affairs of our country. They silent during the last election. But after the election, they came and asked the people to accept the outcome of the election that God has chosen Bola Metinibu to fix this country. Bola Metinibu is running this country aground, but they are not coming out to criticize or call him out for his bad policies, but rather they keep asking us to pray for God to intervene in the affairs of our country. Whereas the son of Papa Adeboye is involved in contrast camp, taking money from government, money from Kaduna state people, people that are impoverished, people that are suffering insecurity, people that are hungry, is taking money meant to execute projects that would benefit the entirety of Kaduna state and is going to court to stop them from probing him. But he did not go to God, but his father is asking you to pray to God to solve the issues in Nigeria. Don't need a prophet to tell you that the kind of Christianity we practice in Nigeria today, the kind of religious activities we practice in Nigeria today, is religious activities of exploitation. It is not about the people, it is about exploiting the people. Nigeria is a breeding ground for most churches and mocks. The reason for that is because majority of the people are poor. Religion is the opium of the masses. Whenever the government fails, the people will run to God as their last resort, and that is where the church comes in. They will tell you to rely on God, they will tell you to hope on God. Why they are telling you that? You keep sowing your seed to them. Other countries provide security for their citizens, other countries provide jobs for their citizens, other countries provide medical health care for their citizens, other countries provide education for their citizens. But here in Nigeria, you need to depend on God for your security. Want to go to bed at night? You pray to God to protect you from evil spirit and also protect you from armed robbers so they will not invade your house. You are traveling on the road, you pray to God to protect you from kidnappers. Pick a cab to the next street, you pray to God to protect you from one chance people. The reason for all of this dependence on God is because the government has failed in their primary responsibility of providing security to the people. You are sick of headache, malaria or any minor illness. Rather than going to the hospital to be diagnosed and treated of that your ailment, you rather go to church to pray to God. Even the hospitals that are available are out of reach from the common man. The common man cannot afford medical expenses now because the cost of drugs have gone over the roof. You are out of school as a graduate, there is no job available for you. Because the government did not provide jobs for you, you will go to God and begin to disturb God to give you a miracle job, create jobs where there is no job for you in this country. And in doing all of this, you keep patronizing religious houses. This is the reason why religion activities in this country is thriving, because majority of the people are poor. They depend on God solely for their survival. They depend on God solely for everything. Now this is what God has created the government to cater for them. But the government has failed in their primary responsibilities. Whether that the church or the mosque calling out the government to be up and doing their primary responsibilities, whether that the church and the mosques telling the people to vote for competent candidates, they are in bed with these politicians. 
so that the people can remain perpetually poor because the more the country is going the way it's going you will keep depending on God and the more you keep depending on God you will keep rushing to these religious houses to drop your seat I am not saying that you don't have to depend on God but that should be done on the cases where you know it is impossible for man to do on cases that you know that it is impossible possible for the government to do but for the fact that you are going to God to give you a job you are going to God to give you money you are going to God to heal you for little sicknesses that God has established hospitals has given man the ability to create hospitals has given man the ability to become doctor to treat these sicknesses you are going to God for it that is where it becomes a problem this is the structure of criminality we are experiencing in this country and that is the reason why most religious leaders they are in bed with politicians so that these things can continue the more these things continue the more they keep remaining relevant the more whatever businesses they are doing in church remain relevant hope you realize soon that most of these people do not care about you all they care about is what they are getting from this country thank you for watching i will see you in the next video